Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how you can install Cache OS plus Hyperland plus the MyLinuxWork dot files for Hyperland with the new dot files installer. I will install Cache OS into a virtual machine, but you can follow the same steps to install Cache OS on bare metal. And all these steps apply also on other Arch Linux distributions, minimal or full desktop environments, or on Fedora Linux, or on OpenSUSE. Let's jump in. So in the first step, we will install Cache OS uh, in a virtual machine. You see here already that I have opened uh, KVM and the Cache OS ISO is already in the downloads folder. So we can create a virtual machine based on that ISO. So. Go to Downloads and select the Cache OS ISO. It's an Arch-based distro, so I will enter here Arch Linux, and here is the Arch Linux category. Next, I will define 60 gigabytes of RAM plus all of my 12 CPUs. I will take a hard drive of 30 gigabytes can click on forward and I will customize the configuration before the installation. So because what we want to do is to enable 3D acceleration because later on we will install Hyperland and Hyperland requires 3D acceleration. Yeah, and here you have to set it up in video vid IO and on display spice. And now we are ready to go and can start the installation. I will switch now to the full screen mode and it all steps work similar on bare metal but in that case of course you have to create a bootable usb stick with a cache os iso and then boot directly from that usb stick so cache os is now booting up into the live environment here we are and we can click on launch installer. I will decide on the grub as a bootloader and the installer starts. I will switch the language to American English. Next, Berlin is correct. The keyboard layout, for me it's German. I will erase the disk and use the default partition of Cache OS. I will install the Hyperland profile of Cache OS as a foundation for the my Linux work dot files for Hyperland. Next, and here we are. You can check again. Here is Hyperland selected. Base packages are there, so we can click on next. Now we need to enter the name. and additional information. I will use the same password for the administrator account next and we are ready to install now. This will take now a few minutes and I'm back when the installation is done. So the installation is done and we can restart the system to boot for the first time into Cache OS. Let's log in again. And here we are on Cache OS with the Hyperland profile. Good. So everything seems to work. With super key return, I can open a terminal. And the first thing that we want to do is to install Flatpak with sudo pacman s flatpak. So installation is very fast, great. And the best practice is to reboot the system after installing Flatpak. Because then all required paths will be set and environment variables. So it's always a good choice to reboot. Okay, back on Hyperland. Next step is we will open Firefox. 
And a starting point to install the mindings for dot files is of course the homepage with my Linux for work dot github dot io slash dot files. And here is the homepage. And here is the link to the dot files installer. We will install now the rolling release with the dot files installer. That means first is the installation of the dot files installer and it's available on FlatHub. The latest version is the, the 0.9.3. So let's copy the installation link, open a new terminal and paste the link in. So now the environment for Flatpak will be installed and as a last step, the dot files installer. Last step is the .files installer and the installation is complete. And again here, I recommend to reboot the system once because new environments have been installed and to be on the safe side that everything is up and running, just take this few seconds and reboot the system. And every reboot on Cache OS looks great. <laughs> okay. Dot files installer is there. Let's open Firefox again. And it should immediately open the homepage of the MyDemonsWork dot files. Here it is. Very good. Now we want to start the dot files installer with flatpak run com.mylinux4work.dotfiles installer. Here is the dot files installer. Let's move it to the second workspace with super key shift two. Now here's the dot files installer. Going back to the first workspace with super one. And now we can copy the URL of the rolling release into the dot files installer. Here it is and click on load. These are the information about the dot files. For, um, for Hyperland and we can start to download the dot files by clicking on download dot files. Now the latest version, the rolling release will be cloned to your system. And this message means that the dot files includes a setup script to install all required dependencies. So I click here on the copy button and open a terminal with super key return and paste that path in and confirm with return. And now you see that the installation starts. Enter the password. First step is that yay will be installed. This is required to install all packages here on that Arch based distribution on Cache OS. And now all required packages will be downloaded and installed. And this takes normally between five and 10 minutes. I am back when the installation is done. The My Linux for Work apps will be installed and as last step, Pinta, the editor for screenshots and the installation is complete and we can go back to the dot files installer. So let's close the terminal with super key Q and we can click here on next. Now the dot files installer will offer to create a backup of the existing configuration. It's strongly recommended to do this. You can store a backup by clicking on next. Now you can change some settings of the initial installation. I will change the keyboard layout to DE and the screen resolution to 1920 to 1080. And I can click on next. And now it's a time where we want to activate the dot files. I click on install and activate now. And this, you see that the screen Resolution has changed again. This can happen because we have modified an existing Hyperland uh, installation and the configs immediately directly with a new one. So what we should do is now to reboot the system. I click here on reboot and then on restart. System is rebooting now. From the start of Cache OS loading screen and we are back in SDDM and now we log in into the new Hyperland and here we are. The dot files app is there, the welcome app. I can close it. The Cache OS welcome app is there. 
I can close it and you see we are here on the my Linux for work dot files. With super key return, I can open a terminal. And you see already here we are on Cache OS. Here in that case with Kitty and with the shell Fish, because Fish is the initial shell of Cache OS. Let's see if everything is working fine. Let's close the terminal. It's opened the site by app. Going to the set wallpaper and let's change the wallpaper. For example, to this one. Let's exit. And you see that the material theme has been enabled and the Weber is now using the material theme. Let's open the file manager and also here Nautilus is working fine. Let's check the backup if the backup is available for you. With super key control return, you open Rofi, the application starter, and let's search for the dot files installer. Here's the dot files installer and open the app again. You see that the active dot files are currently the Minusworks dot files for Hyperland, the rolling release. And when you click here on the three dots and then open the backups folder, the application will ask you which application you want to use to open that folder. I will use files, means Nautilus, and click on open. And here is the backup folder. And you see here the backup that we have created. And when we now show the hidden files, you see here is the bash RC that exists before installing the dot files, the CSHRC, the config, and also here the original hyper configuration chipped with Cache OS. Here is everything in. So also the backup worked fine. You, you see how easy it is to install it. Let's change the wallpaper again. Let's close the dot files installer. Click on the sidebar. Click on set wallpaper and going back here to the initial wallpaper. And now let's try to enable a wallpaper effect wallpaper effects and one of my favorites is always the negate brightness 80 let's see if it's working yeah it's working very well also here the colors have been enabled let's close it and very nice with super key shift w you can select a random wallpaper and enable directly the wallpaper effect and it's so much fun to play with that also here, very nice. Let's change the wallpaper effect again to black, white, blur. And this is black, white, blur. So if you want to have a super clean desktop, yeah, you can have something like that. And you can make it even cleaner with the Hyperland app. Here's the Hyperland app. Let's close some terminals and open all variables. And let's remove the border completely. This is the first entry. And click on add to save this as a default configuration. So next time you restart Hyperland, the settings will be enabled again. So super nice, clear look and feel. Yeah, you can see a lot. It's the new dot files installer works very well also on minimal distributions on minimal setups of distributions like here on the hyperland configuration chipped with the cache os distribution now we have seen how you can use the new dot files installer to install the my dot files on hyperland this time based on cache os and with that see you next time